Hello, ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman. So today we're going to talk about concealer because many of our younger counterparts on Instagram do their concealer very heavy and their whole way they demo it to me is just not appropriate for a mature woman. It really isn't for someone with laugh lines and a life well lived. Okay. That's how I like to refer to laugh lines because I love them. I do not hate them. I'm very pro aging if you don't know me. In any case, um, so today we are going to talk about two different ways to do your concealer and what ways I really recommend, what tools I recommend to use and how to put it on so it does not set in fine lines and show your lines and yet cover the darkness from staying up too late last night watching whatever it is you watch on television. All right, before we get started, please visit my website at thebeautyshamanstore.com and also please subscribe and hit the bell in order to be alerted every time I upload a video. All right, let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna do both sides. I'm gonna do this side the way we need to do it and this is the side we're gonna do, we don't need to do it so it doesn't look cakey. Okay, so for starters, I'm gonna be sure that your under eye area is well hydrated, so use um, some moisturizer or a serum or whatever you use around your eye just so you don't have any dryness because then it will look cakey concealer does not set on dry skin so really be sure your skin is well hydrated okay next I really like to use great quality concealers because then they set so much better on your skin I think this is one of the things that it's okay to spend money on is concealer uh, because if you get cheap ones, they just don't blend, they don't set, they set in fine lines, it's terrible. So I'm going to use Cogendo. This is their creamy concealer. All right, next, how do you put it on? Do you use your finger? Do you use a sponge? Or do you use a brush? My recommendation is to use your ring finger because it is the softest finger on your hand. It's not going to, it's going to apply the least amount of pressure. I do not like beauty blender sponges on older women because they put too much product into the skin. So when people use, when the younger generation uses these, they kind of like press it into the skin. You do not want to press or bake or whatever phraseology anyone's using makeup into your skin. You want it to sit comfortably and lightly on well hydrated skin, okay? Otherwise, you're going to look weird. Using a brush is fine too to apply it, but then you want to use your finger in order to blend it. All right, so Cogendo on this side, we're going to do it wrong. So the younger generation who has no lines and wrinkles does this, right? They put it all the way like that. Yikes. And then they use their beauty blender. Okay, I'm doing this wrong, so you're going to see exactly what this is like and then they bake it into the skin like this. So they go all the way. And what happens is it's gonna set in fine lines. It's automatically gonna look really heavy. Plus the sponge, of course, absorbs a little bit. There's no way around that. Sometimes it can mean you have to reapply. As I smile, see, I think that's showing with my lines. I just feel like it's really heavy, all right? And it's nice because it lightens you up, but as after I powder this, you're gonna see those lines stand out a lot more. All right, let's do the other side. So this one, I'm only gonna apply it where there's darkness, which is right in this part of my eye. Very important, that's where it's dark. It actually isn't very dark. I get a little darkness as you can see over here. Some of you are dark all the way around if that's the case then you do need to put it all the way around and just try to keep your under eye area really hydrated and check it during the day to blend it in. Having said that on me, I'm not super dark, so I can touch this with a little bit of concealer without getting it in my fine lines that you can see right through here. And then I'm gonna use my finger and just lightly dab right in here. And this is gonna brighten up this area around my eye and not set in fine lines, because really, I don't have, you don't really get too many lines through here. All of our lines really are here. So if we just focus on this part, look at that, really nice. All right, now I'm gonna take a tiny bit where I have some darkness on the outer edge and lightly tap that in. Just where I need it. And one trick is to take and just bring that up on your brow bone a little bit. Really looks nice gets a nice little light. See how much that lightened that area right there? I try to keep it away from this because this is our, our area of 
happiness, right? Where all of our happiness lines. I'm very pro aging, so I'm never gonna call them anything negative. But you can see the difference. I think this looks heavier. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a brush. I'm using MAC blot powder on this just a small amount. I like blot powder because it's very, very, very sheer and just absorbs the oil. Sometimes too heavy of powders can really make it look heavy. Now I'm gonna just go like this and see the difference. So this eye, I'm really seeing that concealer through here and this eye, nowhere near as much. Big difference, right? I look really funny. For those of you who really like highlighter, I'm just gonna to touch on this subject. Highlight makes the light bounce off your skin. It's not really a concealer. It doesn't really cover, unless you don't have a lot going on underneath your eye area. So I'm gonna use the Jane Iredale um, Active Light Highlighter. Looks like this. And I'm just gonna add it a little bit. Now the wrong way to do it, again, would be to pull it all the way under like this. Like you see, again, our younger generation. And taking your sponge, and really getting that into the skin. If you put powder on top of highlighter, it diminishes it, so that's why I'm using it on top. This is really not gonna blend well, though. Because at this point, I think I just have too much going on under my eye area. But it definitely makes the light bounce a little bit more, but to me, really sets in fine lines. On this eye, I'll show you, if you wanna use a highlighter, just use it right there, that's all. That's really the only area you need to pop. Now, sometimes you can see on the Instagram, they'll take and use a highlighter on the, right on the top of your cheekbones to bring them out. That's really dicey when you have some lines there um, because it's gonna set a little bit in fine lines. I tend to not do that. If anything, I'll use a cream blush, which does something similar, makes it a little bit iridescent. This is a cream blush, you can kind of see it, but there's the difference on that. Yeah, this eye to me is looking really cakey. So that's the trick with that. All right, let's go wide and talk about it. All right, I hope you found that helpful. I really see a lot of you do this incorrectly, and so I really hope that this helped um, for you to know how to do your concealer in a way that is the most flattering for you. If you have any questions, thoughts, anything, please put it down below. I always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching The Beauty Shaman.